What up guys? I'm being gangster today, so that's different. I look ridiculous. Um, I wasn't sure who was watching my videos and who I was really talking to in the YouTube world. Just thought I'd start this YouTube account so that some of my friends that don't know what's going on with me or I haven't talked to in a while or help anyone going through the same thing would watch my videos, then that would be all good. Um, turns out there's a few people now that I don't know that have been watching my videos, so that's really cool, because it's good when random people watch your videos on YouTube, right? I guess so. Anyways, so I've gotten a lot, not a lot, a few messages, like personal messages on my YouTube account and my email, asking me some questions about what I've gone through and about lymphoma and stuff like that. So I think it's really cool because I this is what I really, really wanted. I want people to ask questions. Um, I'm here to answer them and I really don't care what you ask me. You can ask me anything. So um, if you have a question, uh, you can inbox me on my YouTube account. Anyways, so um, I'm looking at my laptop if you were wondering what I was looking at. I'm going to go over some of the symptoms of Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, so Hodgkin's lymphoma is like more common in people my age. I'm 21, almost 22. Um, the doctors and websites have helped me to realize that this is one of the more common cancers for people my age and I'm not alone. Although in chemo and radiation I seem to be the only person that's my age. The rest are like, they look like they're like earliest is 50s, 60s. So, I haven't seen anybody my age, but apparently this is the most common for my age. But anyways, so some of the symptoms online that I found, and also that have been mentioned to me by my doctor, um, like rapid weight loss for no apparent reason, um, you might get a fever that doesn't go away for a long period of time. Um, the most common one, and uh, most noticeable I think, would be night sweats, because you wake up with like your your bed wet. That sounds gross. You get night sweats. You sweat during your sleep and it's, you just get really, really hot. Um, wake up in the middle of the night maybe and realize you're covered in sweat. Pretty gross. Um, also like coughing, trouble breathing. Um, you get really tired and maybe it's hard for you to go upstairs and like, you know, walk up hills or maybe you just even walking down the street. I don't know. Um, becoming like weaker, um, like opening cans and things like that. Um, or you might actually feel lymph nodes swollen in your neck or underarms. Those are the most telling places that you can feel them and that's more prominently where you would feel your lymph nodes being swollen. Also this one, I just realized when I got diagnosed that this may, might have been um, telling to say that I have Hodgkin's lymphoma, although I didn't think anything of it at the time. Um, because I do get heartburn and uh, obviously indigestion just like anybody else. I also get reflux, like acid reflux where you feel like kind of acidy in your throat when you eat sweet things or I don't know, I get it eating the most random things. But anyway, um, when I would drink alcohol, specifically vodka, um, I would get a pain in my chest and I would have to actually lay down for about an hour sometimes. I'd I'd cry because it hurt so badly, it just felt like a, tightness, a tightness in my chest and just like a, a constant severe pain in my chest. It would go away after about an hour and I'd be fine. But that's actually one of the um, symptoms of Hodgkin's lymphoma is having, um, it says, becoming more sensitive to the effects of alcohol or having painful lymph nodes after drinking alcohol. Um, my doctor also mentioned pain, pain in your chest. So that could have been part of it. I don't know. Um, once I've done all my all my treatments and I start and I try to drink again, maybe I'll see if you know if it's gone away or whatever. But it's not like I got that pain every time. It was only like once in a blue moon, and I didn't drink that often. So it'd be like once in a blue moon and a blue moon. Because if I don't drink that often and then I don't get that pain that often, it's like the blue moon divided by the blue moon. How do you divide a blue moon? I don't know. But anyways, so those are like the telltale symptoms of Hodgkin's. Um, it's pretty hard to 
go into the doctor knowing that you have Hodgkin's just from these symptoms because they're such common symptoms for a lot of disorders and diseases and even just sicknesses kind of thing. Um, so if you if you have a fever, you know, and it lasts a long time, like over a day, over a few days, you know, I would go to the doctor if you get any of this. Also, oh, I missed the one that I had, and that was itchiness. Um, I got really, really bad itchy um, thighs, mostly. It was my thighs and my stomach were driving me nuts. I was living on residence, and I was just laying in bed, and I'd be scratching my stomach and legs all night. Like, honestly, I couldn't sleep because I was so itchy. Um, it could have been, you know, because of the winter, but also, looking back, I'm like, oh, I, I was really itchy, and that's one of the common symptoms. So, the only two symptoms that I had out of all of those were the itchiness and the chest pain from alcohol. Um, other than that, I had nothing. Um, I'll tell you about how I got diagnosed. Put my handy-dandy laptop away. So... Basically, I didn't go in for any of the symptoms, um, the chest pain and the itchiness, I didn't think anything of, didn't go into the doctors for them because just thought, okay, I'm itchy, it's winter, okay, I have chest pains, I have indigestion or whatever. Um, so I've been having a pain in my side that's kind of like in my back and in my stomach, um, and it makes me keel over at times. Um, it's getting really unbearable. I still have it. Um, they thought that it might have something to do with the lymphoma. But anyways, um, before all of this, before they said it was because of the lymphoma, um, I went into the doctor. I've, I've gone to the doctor for this a few times, and they haven't figured it out. They've done blood tests and scans and things like that, and they didn't find anything. So I went in for a CAT scan when I... Um, like a few weeks before my reading week in February, um, and then it was a nice little visit at home, got my CAT scan, and then went back up to school. I was working hard on my studies, and then um, my mom had called, or had texted me, and anyways, long story short, they came up to tell me that I had to come home, because my CAT scan that I had for this pain had showed that in my chest, um, and under my arm kind of thing, like this whole area in my neck, um, was covered with swollen lymph nodes. And when I got told this, I had no idea what that meant. I just became upset because I was like, this has nothing to do with my pain. I have no idea what they're talking about. Like, well, Anyways, it was serious enough for me to have to come home, my doctor said. Uh, they needed to do some more tests um, to rule out cancer and things like that. So when I got told that, I got even more scared. So I had no idea. They, they didn't say anything about my stomach. Um, all I wanted to do was get rid of this pain because even after all this treatment, now I still have it. So I'm still going to have to go to the doctor after all of this. But, um, yeah, so basically they told me when I had lymphoma, um, they told me all the symptoms and I was like, okay, that makes sense. I was itchy, I had chest pain, but other than that I had no other symptoms. So it's really scary. Um, knowing that you have something and you had no idea and it's all within you, right? So if you have any of these symptoms, or even if they're not too severe, I would go to the doctor because you never know. Like me, I didn't think anything of the itchiness or the chest pain drinking alcohol, and it turned out I had lymphoma. So I would go to the doctor for any reason. <laughs> I'm not saying to be all paranoid and if you have a fever for a day, you know, you must have cancer. No. If you have two of those or, you know, a few of those symptoms, I would go get checked out just to be sure. Be aware of the symptoms. Also, I'm sure you can look up symptoms of other cancers. There, There's lots, but anyways, if you have any of these symptoms or any other symptoms that are strange to you, um, even those that are not strange to you, but you might think, okay, like, this doesn't happen too often to me, I would go get checked out just to make sure. You don't want to chance it. So, yeah, that's my little spiel. Um, that's my story about my diagnosis and um, some symptoms that you can um, come across when you're dealing with lymphoma, Hodgkin's lymphoma in my case. I don't have really anything else to say other than... Bye! Um, and thanks so much for watching, and it, please, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below or... Um, inbox message me on my YouTube channel and I'll get right back to you because I'm not busy at all. Okay, thanks. Bye.